Our today's crime story is about the four angels of death, Maria Gruber, Irene Ludolf, Stephanie Meyer and the head of crimes, Walt Rod Wagner. In the beginning of 1983, a series of crimes occurred in Vienna, Austria. These are the most brutal and merciless crime in Austria's crime history. The murders took place within the walls of the Lenz General Hospital. The four nurses' crime would prove so horrifying, they would come to be known as the Angels of Death of Austria. This crime spree began in 1983, and lasted for a period of seven years, till 1989, in between they killed many patients, just for pleasure. Just for pleasure. Walt Rod Wagner was born in a rural village in Austria. Like many nurses, she assumed a caretaking role early in life. Not only did she look after the house while her mother was working the fields, when she was only 12, she'd take care of her grandmother, who suffered from open sores on her legs. Owing the shortage of nurses, though, she was able to get a job as an assistant nurse. The four nurses of the leading hospital made up one of the most unusual crime teams in 20th century in Europe. The 23-year-old Walt Rod Wagner worked the graveyard shift at Lanes General Hospital. Lanes General Hospital was one of the most premier medical facility in Vienna, Austria. Lanes General Hospital was the fourth largest medical facility in Vienna. She was working in Pavilion V, the area for the most difficult cases. This area patients were, who unruly, mentally ill, or acquired a special attention. According to sources an old woman requested Walt Rod Wagner to end her life. Upon her request Wagner complied, injecting a lethal dose of morphine into the woman's body. It was the moment that she discovered the holding of power of life and death in her hands was intoxicating. She started to kill more patients in the Pavilion V, in similar manner. Walt Rod Wagner was a charismatic, charming, and manipulative lady by birth. She used her natural-born leadership qualities, she awakened the sadistic instincts in three other fellow nurses by recruiting them to help her in this murderous spree. Maria Gruber, a 19-years-old nurse was first to join her, in this criminal gang. She was a nursing school dropout and single mother. The next member of the gang was, 21-years-old Irene Ludolf, a married woman who sought any means available to stay away from home. The last nurse recruited in the gang was, Stephanie Meyer, a 43 years old divorced grandmother. She recently emigrated from Yugoslavia to Vienna. Together the four women turned the nurses ward into their own lethal concentration camp. In the beginning, the angels of death killed patients with overdoses of morphine, insulin, and tranquilizers. The slightest annoyance from a patient could trigger their wrath. A patient that snored too loud, complained too often, soiled the bed, refused medication, or buzzed the nurse's station for assistance would find their names placed on a kill list for extermination the following night. According to trial testimony, Wagner would loudly announce, this one gets a ticket to God. These four death angels feel that simply killing the patients is not enough them. The angels of death wanted to see their victims striving for their lives. Then they decided to use another method for killing the victims, that were, one would hold the patient's head while another pinched the victim's nose. Then the patient's tongue was held down with the help of a stick and water poured into the victim's mouth until they drowned. In the interrogation they confessed to enjoying the sight of the patient's grievous struggle, there was a logic in their method of killing. Since the lungs of patients frequently fill with water, the water routine would make it difficult to determine the true cause of death. After a period of five years murders spree, the hospital suspected that something is going wrong. 
the hospital workers started Pavilion V, the death pavilion. In 1989, one of the doctors was suspended for failing to launch a timely investigation into the unusual number of deaths in his wing. It was routine for the four women to stop by a local bar after work for a few drinks. Together they would cackle about the day's events, a victim's convulsive struggle to breathe or an unusual dying expression on a patient's face. In early 1989, a doctor heard the discussions of the four nurses about their latest victim's struggle for life. The doctor reported the story to the police and the four nurses were arrested. The nurses confessed to 49 murders, the head of Vienna's health department told in a press briefing that they had killed at least 100 elderly patients in Lanes. Today the unofficial count is believed to number at least 200 and possibly as high as 300. The Angels of Death trial was a simple affair. Together the four women admitted to 49 murders over a period of six years. The women were convicted in 1991, about 10 years after their murderous rampage began. Walt Rod Wagner was convicted of only 15 murders, 17 attempted murders, and two counts of assault and given life in prison. Waldorf, her fellow, was convicted of five murders and sentenced to life in prison. Meyer was convicted of manslaughter and attempted murder and sentenced to 20 years in prison. Gruber was convicted of manslaughter and attempted murder and sentenced to 15 years of imprisonment. As per the Austrian laws, life imprisonment is considered too harsh. Meyer and Gruber were released from prison after only a few years. In 2008, Walt Rod Wagner and Adolf were also released from the jail due to their good behavior. The four women have since changed their names and are presumed to be living in Austria under aliases. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. Thank you for watching this video.